our solution or also our value add is that we provide them the tools, um, for example, to get to the next level. Hi, my name is Jennifer Higuer. I'm managing partner and co-founder of Sephora Unternehmer Capital. So at Sephora, we are focused on the lower mid-market uh, in the dark region. So we think it's particularly attractive if you have other deal dynamics than you have, for example, in the mid-market. So you have in general lower valuations in the transactions, you have less competition. And what you find is, especially in the primaries, you have companies that exhibit such a value creation potential, if you do it right. And the doing it right, that's really the, the key, key feature that, that we add, uh, or that we think is our value add, that we actually um, enable these companies to, to get to their full potential. And uh, that's something we really like. We are only investing in uh, companies that are in a B2B segment and that are enabled by uh, specific investment themes. So we defined an investment theme approach and that includes technology, that includes energy transition and resource availability, as well as buy and build. And um, these themes are for us very attractive because it ensures on one side that you have long-term growth potential and on the other side, um, you, they show very high um, resilience and in uncertain economic environments this is very key and at Sephora we, we call it winter hardy uh, which is actually a key feature of the Sephora tree which gave us the name and uh, really believe that it's something very important when selecting uh, attractive tools. by developing the organization or providing the access to, to the network and also to, to growth capital. That is something uh, we bring in and uh, believe it's very essential. Uh, on one side, because it's a very systematic value approach we have, um, we ensure that our success is repeatable, that we can not only do it on this transaction, but on all the other transactions. And on the other side, it actually helps us to get management teams on board, yeah, to convince them that we are the right partner. And uh, in the lower mid-market, this is very, very important that on a personal level, um, you also show um, the, the, the managers that you are a long-term partner, which is very important for us. First of all, if you are successful, your organization grows quicker than you think. And um, there are certain elements that at the beginning you might not put a lot of focus and really it's, do you have all the values or do you share the same values and have you defined them? Have you defined the corporate culture or the team culture and how do you want to work? And it's important that you get that in the very beginning very clear because when the organization grows and you add one team member and another and another, uh, it gets more and more complicated. And this is really the basis to have a good uh, working relationship and actually have a, a long-term um, team that works together uh, very well. I think the best advice is get the team right. I think this is the most expensive error and the highest risk that a merging manager falls apart is that, um, that you focus too much on the track record of the others and the contribution in terms of success they can bring. But you, you should not disregard that it's very important that you can really work together and share the same values for a long term. Um, because it's, it's a roller coaster. Yeah, um, building or, or establishing a new firm, you start from scratch. Uh, you do everything for the first time, you set up structures and processes, and it's very challenging. So uh, be, be sure that your partner is the right one.